how challenging, how unpopular uh, was it to put ethics and respect for human rights at the center of a major global event when so many major corporations, yes, and the massive investments as well are made. What are the key dilemmas that are, that raised for you and what key dilemmas does it raise for the panelists here today? I think it put, we were in all sorts of dilemmas. I think it, uh, for, for us in Norway to, to address this issue, being a very small country, we haven't been to a World Cup for 22 years. We're no one in football, but we're getting there, by the way. Uh, uh, was, uh, was difficult because you know that you have to collaborate, you have to be part of a bigger team, and that we, we deal with football. So we're suddenly in this geopolitical area. But we know that football is also geopolitical. We know that Qatar got the World Cup also by upping the game, not just doing corruption, uh, you know, face to face with the persons in the committee, but going to states, going to Sarkozy, going, you know, above the football. So we know that we, we, we are very conservative. Uh, like you said, Paul, you know, the sense of urgency has not co come to football yet. I think that the Qatar award, um, I have to say, though, uh, to start there, you know, this is not, you know, a, a, an attack on Qatar or the Middle East. This is how the debate ends up, you know, racist. No, this is the money ideology. In Norwegian, we call it gul kalven. You know, it's it's the gold in, in the middle, and it's no. We don't have transparency. We're not rigged to divide this money in a fair way, so that we make very bad decisions. You know, they, they start with the World Cup. It's it's an area as big as Bergen, where I'm from. Bergen should not have the World Cup, by the way. <laughs> Uh, I have to say that. So, so, so it's 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 not about it's not about the Middle East culture. It's not about Sharia versus the Christian culture. It's about transparency, changes, uh, um, behavior. You said, Paul, which is true, and we haven't had real transparency in football. And the decision was very, very bad. It cost life. But I do think the good part about the uh, the, the award to Qatar was that it was the, the stick that they made the, the donkey's back break. You know, I, I, I think so. I think uh, we will have now a big pressure going out of the, the World Cup that we need to have those industrial standards that you say, Ingve, uh, because football has been very afraid of politics. I, I meet people all the time. I was new in, in Doha when I made the speech. I'd been president for three weeks. I did not know anyone. Maybe that made me so stupid, you know, and naive. Uh, because I did not know, I did not respect anyone more than I did with the doorman, or uh, they were just people to me, men, by the way. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and then, then when we went to the speech, uh, to, 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 the, to, the, to address the Congress, I realized that this is very, this is a very d dangerous topic to address, and why? You know, we're in, the, we're in this area all the time, and I think, firstly, the leaders in football are very afraid to lose control because we're so media close. So when we address this, you will be, now I'm asked every day, what about Palestine, what about Israel? I don't know, you know, I, I cannot solve all these problems. We cannot solve all these problems, but we can have, uh, like Berit, my colleague, or she's in, you're not my colleague because you're independent in the ethical committee of the Norwegian Football Federation, said we need legislation, industrial standards in football that, you know, makes the world stage, which, which the football has all the time, um, a good symbol of change. Because now we're a bad symbol. Uh, you know, we love the sport. We love uh, that people are gathered. You know, the beauty and the power of the football sport is really, it's really strong. And it, it should not be a cliche. It should not be something we just say to have a, you know, a glossy front. It, it, it really has, but it has cost lives. Uh, we have had awards to World Cups. We have had decisions made that cost lives and, and that we cannot live with. Mm -hmm.